Welcome back to the final part of the six o'clock show, our pop culture vulture. And the most excited girl in the studio, Fanula Jones, is sticking with us for Age of Martin Street. You haven't been I might take in ages. actually, between the sugar and the excitement now, I actually might start levitating. Uh, this is great. Right. Uh, you should no, it's going to take it straight off the scale. <laughs> yeah. Not for anybody else. There's no point even cooking it. You know? No. Yeah. Uh, so basically, this is a very simple cookie recipe uh, we start with. So we're doing like a full batch. And instead of cutting them out, or refrigerating them and cutting them and trying to get perfect shapes. We're doing everything in one pan. And it's kind of like a sharing kind of dish. It's nice to get like everyone around and kind of tuck into it as well. So this is just basically a little bit of softened butter. Uh, it shouldn't be fully melted, but it's okay if it does go that far on you. And mm -hmm. uh, we have 125 uh, grams of that. And then we have then just a little bit of soft brown sugar. And the reason for the brown sugar in this recipe, so it's 150 of that. The reason for the brown sugar is that, do you know when you get a cookie and it's soft? <sighs> You know that's that's, I love that texture. Yeah, that's the texture you get with the brown sugar. Now, what we would traditionally do is you'd beat this. You'd stand here in the kitchen, and you'd be like this. You'd be talking Taylor Swift, Jake Jim Hall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you'd be standing, and you'd be beating away. Or you can get your electric mixer in here, and you can beat away with your no, electric mixer. If it mixer was Taylor well. Swift, she'd be gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why did going nuts, yeah. I hate you, Jake. I hate you so much. <laughs> Now, so you have, once you get to that stage and it becomes light and aerated and it's kind of beaten, and this will change color, it'll go a little bit paler in color. You add in then one egg to it as well. So you go in with just one egg, like that, just crack in. And again, same thing, just beat it in to this as well. People panic when they get to this stage, they add in eggs to like a mixture such as sugar and butter, it can split. Mm. Uh, don't panic if it happens, just add a little teaspoon of flour to it and it'll bring it back to itself as well. Tick. So you have one egg there, and then all you have then is 225 uh, grams of flour. So just weigh it in to it. So 225, this guy isn't working, there you go, it's working now. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Every time I take the spoon out, it stops. So 225 of flour in, very simple. In you go. And then we have a teaspoon then of the uh, bacon powder as well. So bacon powder just creates that little bit of a lift and a little bit of a rise as well. In it, as well. So you go in with just a teaspoon like that. And then all it literally is is just mix this through. So this is kind of like almost like just a biscuit uh, batter, should I say. And so, say if you didn't use brown sugar and you used white sugar, would it just be crispy all the way through? It would yeah, just like break? Just, yeah, it would just be okay. that crack kind of consistency. It'd be very, very similar to like shortbread biscuit. So you'd get that kind of, uh, you know, snap to it. Okay. And it's, uh, also, icing sugar, if you were to use icing sugar, it's crumbly. So you oh. get a crumbly texture to it. Uh, if you can go with half and half, you could go like half demerara sugar, half castor sugar, you get another different texture again. It's all about so playing around with it. Sugar changes the texture. Yeah, it's sugar changes the texture. When you start talking about brown sugar, demerara, muscovado, <laughs> white muscovado. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're all, they're all derivatives of one thing, basically. So brown sugar is just like, uh, castor sugar is just bleached brown sugar. Icing sugar is just castor sugar blended slightly more. So if we ever run out of like icing sugar in the kitchen, we'll just get a load of castor sugar and stick it into a thermomix and blend it oh, and you have icing good. sugar. So it's just basically all different courses of it. So you get this kind of thick biscuit dough. Like uh, Fanula, we were talking, Blake Lively, or you obviously directed Taylor Swift's uh, new, this is, wait till you see the segue, right? She's directed a new video, she loves to bake. Do you love to bake to see the way I did that? You are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm trying to segue. Shoehorn it in there. Incredible. Um, I do. Uh, I do sometimes. It depends. I like the simpler the better. Yeah. I made a lemon meringue pie for my boyfriend for his birthday, and he's never heard the end of it because <laughs> that that's is ambitious. that's like. Oh, well, I, okay. I made it harder for myself because I m tried to make my own pastry. Like, just buy shop bought. Like, who? Well, sorry, don't listen to this. Put your fingers in ears. Yeah. But like, because there's so many elements to that. It's like the lemon thing, the meringue, the pastry. It was like I was there for hours doing this. He came and he was like. Just eating it, I was like, is it nice? <laughs> <laughs> but I make a very good like banana bread. I think everyone does oh, yeah. now at this well, point. Well, yeah. you want it after pandemic, yeah. for sure. Yeah, for What's sure. going on next, Adrian? So we have white chocolate, chips in, mm. and then we have just, you could either use milk or dark. So it's 120 grams of each in as well. And that's just, you just it. So you just mix those through. So that's your cookie dough. Now what we do in say, a restaurant is we will get this and wrap this in cling film to shape it. And then we leave it in the freezer and that'll last for months. And then what we do is when we want to bake cookies, we just slice nice. onto it yeah. straight into the oven, basically. And you have fresh cookies all the time. With this one, everything onto a greased pan. So just make sure your pan is greased or a skillet, like so. And you just literally pat it down. But could you literally use a frying pan? Yeah, just use a frying pan at home, yeah, absolutely. 
I mean, the cast iron is pretty cool because when you put cast iron in the middle of the table, it looks deadly, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we just actually flatten it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. That'll bake into its own shape anyway. And then that goes in the oven. 180 degrees normally takes about 15, 20 minutes. And can we take for granted that any pan that you're using will be oven proof? Uh, no, or, no, no, you can't. Don't put one in with a plastic handle. Okay. I've made so that mistake many um, times. Mm. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. And when the skillet. Is... Yeah, the skillet's yeah. grey for it. Okay, okay. so the, out it comes and oh, look, wow. it rises. <laughs> and this thing is incredible. So I'll bake that one I as well. I don't even eat that like raw. I mean, I know cookie dough. That's oh, like heartbreaking so the skillet right there. Yeah, it's so delicious. No, so this, and then what we do is then I just get a spoon, okay, and it's so soft. <laughs> I might start crying. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's an emotional day. So you go on with your. And what I'd say to you is just put it in the middle of the table, let everyone take a scoop of it, and leave loads of kind of condiments. So I do a little bit of hazelnut spread on top, like so. Oh, I know. There's going to be a fight over this. Yeah. Yum. So you go a little bit of that. You know, you got. Um, I have a little bit of whipped cream. Sure, why not? You know? And then you have. It's Monday, you know? Cheer yourself up and a little bit of chopped up crunchy bar. Oh, look at you. Oh, wow. Ah, there here. you go. And crunchy, it's Monday. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, no. <laughs> I've never seen someone so excited for food in my entire life. <laughs> my life. <laughs> now, so I'll do a few more for you as well. But it's so simple. I'm way out of politeness. No, no go, 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 go. Okay. Go for it. Okay, I, I won't then. Like